Today when we're working on this math problem, trying to figure out the perimeter. So this, Mackenzie has studied the perimeter of a parallelogram. She used a diagram to find the length of one of the sides of the parallelogram. Here's the work. Perimeter equals 21 plus 2w. 36 <coughs> centimeters equals 2, in parentheses, 11 centimeters plus 2w. What should Mackenzie use as the value of w in her equation? Can I stop you before you go any farther? When you have that formula, uh, you sort of says P equals, you said 21. Now, that's not a, a 2 and a 1, that's a 2 and an L. So that's like 2 times length plus 2 times width, okay? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you understood that. Keep going. Okay, so since this side is 11 centimeters, this side would be 11 <coughs> centimeters. And since this side is 7 centimeters, this side would be 7 centimeters. Okay, so what she is doing is she's going to be multiplying 2 by 11 centimeters and 2 by W. And the width of it would be 7 centimeters because the length is 11 centimeters. So what she is going to be doing would be 2 times... Finally, Steph, come to the office going home. She'll be doing 2 times 11 centimeters plus... 2 times 7 centimeters, which is the same as saying... Uh, the following students need to report to the Family Resource Center. Which is... Carissa Shaw, Carly Smith, Austin <laughs> Aikens, Lana Marshall, Kiana Campbell, Shelby Murray, Leah Lynch, Kaylee Shaw, Kate Beth Lucas, and Addison Terry. Which is... which would be 22 centimeters plus 14 centimeters, which is, what she said, 36 centimeters. And what W should be would be 7 centimeters. And my math practices, I used what I know about finding the perimeter of the parallel map. Okay, so Carissa, you were able to solve it with a good process. You gave us good math practice. You got the right answer. Uh, one of the things I wish that you had done since you know so much about parallelograms has dazzled us by saying that because parallelograms have opposite sides that are parallel to one another, opposite sides are congruent, they are the same. That's why if one side is 7 centimeters, the opposite will be 7 centimeters, and if one side is 11 centimeters, the other side will be 11 centimeters. You did a very good job, I felt like. I feel like uh, you gave us a good answer, a good math practice, a good process. So you get a hundred. Does everybody agree with it? Yeah. yeah.